Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hello. They're in the milk comas right now. They just ate and went potty. And everyone but one of them has had a poop so far. And actually, someone went in the playpen. So, they may have all pooped. I was starting to get worried. I believe this is day three. <laughs> My days are running together. Yeah, hello. Hello. I know. You're the biggest. You're not hungry. You're just a piglet. I, um, and that's actually why I came in here while they were sleeping. I thought, oh, I'll just move them into a box and I will change all this bedding. <laughs> this is cool. Oh. And uh, they're going to have to go on the floor soon because watch what happens when I unzip it. All right, I unzipped it. Okay, well, let go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh, are you stuck? They did that amazing thing where they learned to walk overnight. I mean, they're still kind of scooting. It, oh, I know. I know. But they have learned my voice means food most of the time. So if they hear me, like when I'm in here, I have to be really quiet. Because if they hear me, they can run in. And they really just ate like 10 minutes ago. But they're all a good size. Like they've all, they lost a little bit of weight when they first got here while we were learning. Oh. Hi. Um, when we were learning to bottle feed and I was having to force feed them with a syringe, they lost just a tiny bit of weight, but now they have really gained weight. Um, so, and they all have like really healthy lungs and their eyes are all clear. Their poop is a little weird. It's kind of orange. Oh my goodness. There goes the squirrel. Um, the squirrel likes to come look in the window. Uh, their poop is a tiny bit like orange, but it's a good consistent. <laughs> Hi. I know. It's a good consistency. Hi. Okay, you're gonna fall. Yeah, you're gonna fall. And I wonder, I keep, I, I just really want to know if this brown around his mouth oh, is not dirt. I thought it was dirt, but I wiped it a bunch. But anyway, look at that. Look at that. Now, honestly, he's the only one that can walk that well. Everyone else kind of still scoop walks. But for some reason, and he's the second smallest one. See, everybody else kind of walks like that, like scoot walks, but not this one. This one can run. Yes, see, and he's, he weighs the second least. The black one weighs the least, and then him. All right. Now, how these things happen is beyond me, but they always happen. The lady from the shelter, uh, the cat lady at the shelter just called, and it is, right now, it is 5.30. The shelter closes at five. So I was like, oh my goodness. Cause you know, popped up on call day. I was like, what? So I answered and she was like, is that, and she, you could tell she didn't want to ask. She was like, um, is there any way that you can have, do two more kittens? And I said, okay, sure, yeah. Um, I said, but it's gonna take me, you know, cause I was actually feeding the other kittens. You should see, I, I mean, I need a shower. <laughs> And uh, she said, I will bring them to you. Uh, and I said, oh, yeah, if you'll bring them to me, go right on ahead. So, like 10 minutes later, she shows up. And I'm like, well, what happened? Oh, here, honey, are you looking? Can you smell it? I bet you can smell the food, can't you? Oh, here, there. Are you starving? I don't know. We're not, we're not even sure if these babies are eating, like, food. Or if I tried to give them a bottle and they wouldn't take the bottle. Um, it looks like, um, are you having problems? Here, here you go, here, here you go, here. And they have teeth, 
but they're just not very oh oh yeah you're eating it okay uh oh anyway um and this one is the one that really needs food this one is like when bella came in you can feel every bone in her body but what happened is the lady at the shelter here are you not going to be able to eat it here look. oh ow <laughs> they have teeth um, the lady at the show, she came and I said, so what happened with these? And she goes, I have no idea. She said, I was doing the end of the day inventory. Like they do, you know, every day at the beginning, at the end, they go and they count the cats and the kittens. And the, she said, and these two were in a cage with some food. So I went in and I asked the administrator and he said, yeah, so-and-so took them in at uh, two today um, and put them in the cage when well, nobody told her. And she was like, those babies are too young to be without a mom. You can't, you can't keep these, right? You know, you can't. And he was like, oh, well, how old are they? And she said, they're maybe five weeks old. So that, you know, and she was so mad. She was like, they just stuck them in a cat. And uh, anyway, she was really mad. So nobody even knows these babies' stories. Like whoever brought them in, they just signed the little release form and left. So we have no idea. We don't know. But you, I mean, you can tell they've been outside. They are disgusting. And this one has like, if this one is a boy, I'm naming him Kramer because his hair, <laughs> but they're disgusting. I know, I know. You're really not that hungry. You just ate. They think my voice means food. So if they hear my voice, they start hollering. Now I'm not going to put them together um, because I don't know these, right? You know, I don't know one does. The shelter couldn't even tell me. I don't know what their temperament is. I don't, I haven't even been able to look at them. Um, I just pulled the carrier on the bed, put them in the carrier, and went and made them some food. Um, so, and I did stick, I need like another one of those things. I cannot believe. Oh, I'm just so glad I had all these supplies. Thank you guys so much. But I'm just going to, now that doesn't have a heat pack in it. Because I've been using the heating pad, so I am going to put a heat pack in it and let this baby eat as much as he can. I think it's a boy. It's very hard to tell because all the hair, he's like matted. Some of his hair is matted and it's really bad. So I'm going to get some wipes and wipe him. Oh, but you know what's funny? Look at this. I have already gone through two whole packs of wipes. I mean, kittens pee and poop a ton don't you look at them they think every time they hear my voice they get to eat look at them oh, and he went in or she i don't know it's a little i think lisa it's a tabby i'm pretty sure i can't tell and his tabbiness is kind of odd it's kind of in squirrels so it may not actually y'all are gonna have y'all y'all will tell me what this one is but, but he is going to sleep but he's ch it's really funny because this one is chunky like he's had like he's eat you know he's he's a good size this one is skin and bones i'm telling you the fruit fruit ones are always the ones that don't ever 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 need to be i mean none of them need to be outside but the fruit fruit ones just can't don't survive well on their own but he's nice and chunky. But look at that. I know. Look at that. I know. You're not hungry. I promise. Okay. Okay. In, in a moment of clear headedness, because I obviously wasn't thinking straight, I may. I know. They are always screaming if I'm talking. If I don't talk, they don't scream. Anyway. I thought about it and I was like, oh my gosh, if they're eating regular food, they're pooping. So I, I was like, I can't leave them in a carrier because, I mean, it's a big carrier, but I can't because they need a litter box. And so what I did is I set them up a little corner. Now you have to remember it's really warm in here because I have the vent shut and the fan is not on. So, I mean, the, the floor is not cold. Plus it's like 105 here. Um, so I just put down that this is a, um, winter sheet 
and then a blanket and then I put them some toys and their litter box and some dry and wet food and the wet food has a ton of water and some KMR in it so I did not put any water down um I don't think they're probably old enough to drink water they do have tea but I'm actually going to see if they'll drink a little bit of out of the bottle because I mean I'm sure they're winged because you know I don't well I'm not sure actually because you know they don't have a mom but this one is a sweetheart the tabby however has bit me twice and when I get near him he hisses hold on I'm gonna turn the light on but okay twice and hissed at me and then I wonder if he was just scared in the carrier because it was while he was in the carrier and when um the lady brought him over she brought him in a box like they have these little cardboard box things oh look at that never mind I was gonna show you guys how he hisses but he didn't I think he was just scared of the carrier oh look at that oh and I made him, I made this little box right here because of him, you know, I knew that if he was scared that he'd want a box to hide him. So I put it here and I put a blanket in and I put the heated snuggle pet in with him or her. I still haven't looked. I've been really worrying about getting them fed. I mean, look at this baby's fur. It is just, oh. It's matted. It's like not not soft at all. Oh, I know. I know. Look at the feet. I mean, oh, my sweet thing. I'm so sorry, but they're very precious. I mean, look. Oh, and I'm going to get your eyes. I know. I mean, it's almost like, oh, it has been raining here a lot. I was going to say it's almost like They've been in like some kind of rainstorm or mudstorm. Oh. Okay, we have had several rains lately. Here, show everybody your beautiful face. Yeah, say, so I will be beautiful right now. I'm a little bit scraggly. <laughs> oh. And this one, I think is really cold. He feels really cold, and he's sitting in the litter box and won't go in. I'm not sure that these two babies, I'm going to call, well, I can't call until, because they won't have anything to do with each other. You know, like normally brothers and sisters snuggle, and she, the, the long hair is like freezing and like wet in some places, and but she won't like get on the snuggle pet because he, or this one's on it. But it's in the litter. Are you using the litter box? Did you use the litter box? You know, you have been doing kitten stuff for a long time when you just go digging through a litter box with your hand. There's nothing in there. <laughs> Here. But I got the warmer and I warmed it. And I'm going to wrap... I'm going to wrap the baby in the blanket in a warmer. Do you hear him growling at me? I picked him up and he did, he he went and he growled at me. <laughs> but they have to get warm. I noticed he was really cold, or this one's really cold too. So I've got them on the heat pack in a blanket. You're fine. Don't growl at me. See, when the camera's on him, he won't do it. But if you did, you just hear him. I like moved him over a little bit and he growled. And the last time he growled at me, he bit me. <laughs> Stop growling at me. You're going to love me. I promise. You're going to love me. Yes, you are. They always do. I'll change your mind. You just stay there and get warm. So I've got...
got them all tucked in on the heated thing. We're gonna sit here for a while and then I'm gonna try to feed them. and her tail is sideways right and I keep thinking she's like trying to poop up here her tail is broken it oh okay it right here where it, like it comes off the base it goes up and it's hard and pointed and then the rest falls down it's uh, her tail is broken or something I mean I don't and I don't think it's a birth defect because when I touch it she cries but I don't want to hurt her oh see and it is like 12 30 at night like I don't I don't know what to do oh my goodness uh, I guess I'm gonna hit Google and we do have an emergency vet clinic about 30 minutes away from here that I may call and ask. I mean, because she's obviously, I mean, she doesn't act like she's in pain other than if you touch it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my goodness. I mean, oh, my goodness. 